Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lori. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and on eBay. Today I'm taking you through the process of packaging up a box to send to the real real. I am not what I would consider a professional at the real real. I've only sent in two boxes in total. I'm going to start by going over my most recent box that sent in, show you some of the payouts that I received. And I thought it would just be helpful to take you through all of the steps as somebody who really isn't super seasoned at doing this. So what I'll be covering in this video is designers that the real real accepts. I'm going to go through the list. I'm going to go through my own inventory and show you little peaks of things that I'm pulling. Um, I do have a box that has been pulled and ready to go. And I'm going to go through that box, see what they will accept, what they won't accept. I'm going to take you right through to the end where I print a label for it. If you do like reseller content and you're having a good time at any point in this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my content. Without further ado, let's get into it. Today I am packing up a bunch of items to go to the real real and I've done videos before on what I'm sending to the real real but I don't think that I've ever really shared the process. I've had like mediocre success at the real real as far as like payouts go. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what worked for me, what hasn't worked for me and I'm also going to be pulling stuff from my main inventory to send to the real real. This is what my office looks like. Um, post shipping <laughs> on a Monday morning. This room just gets cluttered really quickly. These piles over here, some boxes that just came in from USPS, that entire box over there is for the real real, with the exception of these items. These I have to send to Angelina. I think I'm just gonna put them in her Easter basket. Um, but all of these things and these, a friend dropped off some free inventory. So I need to clean all of this stuff out and I plan on utilizing one, two, three of these boxes to pack up for the real real. I think first I'm just gonna hop on the computer and just take a look at their designer list because it does change and things that um, I maybe thought they accepted, they don't. I'm just gonna take a glance at their designer list and um, there are a few brands in particular that I have that I wanna send to them and I just wanna check and see if they have them. So I'll share my screen and show you. Wow, that's a very, very large picture of me. <laughs> I need to make this smaller. Okay, that is much better. Um, a lot of people have asked what I use for um, a sharing, like face sharing like this, and it's an extension in Chrome called Loom, and I really love it. You can adjust the size of your face in the little corner there, and uh, you get five minutes at a time for their free service, so I'm going to have to talk quickly. So this is my consignment for January. Very, very, very sad. Okay, so this Zach Posen mini skirt, I just wanna say that back in the day when ThreadUp paid you up front, they offered me $45 for this skirt. I wanted to wait for a payout. It never sold. They ended up returning it to me. I sent it to the Real Real. The Real Real had it for a long time and I didn't reclaim it in time. It ended up selling for like 80% off for $21.25 and look at what my payout was. $8.50. This is what you would call a huge mistake. And this is why um, there's definitely a learning curve with some of these online consignment stores. I should have reclaimed the skirt. Actually, I should have taken the payout about a year ago from ThreadUp, but live and learn. And now I only got eight fifty dollars on the skirt. Probably only paid 5 or $6 for that, but complete waste. Like that is a very, very sad stat for me right there. Now we're going to look at February. It's not much better because I did not reclaim anything. The St. John jacket ended up selling for $33.75. My commission is 40%. I only made $13.50. This Lafayette wool tweed jacket was so gorgeous. I can't even tell you. I made $14.50 and a Max Mara blazer, $19.50. So I'm still making money on all of these items, but um, I would have reclaimed, reclaimed these pieces and tried them again, sent them again. Or if I'm only going to make $13.50, I would just list them low, like at $30, as opposed to you know, what I would typically list St. John's for, which is, you know, more in the 50, 60, $70 range. This is just a recap of some of the mistakes I have made. Now I'm going to go through my things. I'm going to try to do it better this time. It's just a matter of getting it into your routine. Otherwise, 
it's really easy to forget these when you have so many balls in the air. I'm going to go to my Poshmark closet and there is a designer that I know I have. Um, and I'm going to go up here. I think it's Ungaro, something like that. It's not even showing up. Does this ever happen to you when you go on to Poshmark and you try to um, search by brand and stuff doesn't come up? It really frustrates me. So I'm going to go to Blazers because I know I have my face here in the corner is competing with my screen. Sorry about that. I should probably make it even smaller. Why don't we do that for this screen? There I am, little Lori. Okay. Blazers and suit jackets. So I just want to take a quick look here. So see this Lafayette 148, this has been around for a long time. I'll probably pull that. None of these brands will be accepted. No, no, no. I don't know if they take helmet laying, but that has a small stain. So I probably wouldn't send that. I think they're also pretty fussy about um, conditions. So I want to make sure if I'm going to send anything, it's going to be in really good condition. If they take theory, I would send this. Ted Baker, I don't have a ton of luck with this. I ran out of my five minutes, so I had to start over. As I was saying, some of these items might do better. So I'm going to write down, I just have like a little post-it note. I'm going to look at these brands. So I'm gonna look at Theory. I'm going to look at Ted Baker, um, uh, Alice and Olivia. This has 23 likes on it. And I think I've sent out offers as low as $60. So I'm gonna see Alice and Olivia, but I think I might've paid like 10 or $15 for that. Um, Ellie Tahari, do they take that? I'm not sure if they do. I don't think so, but I'm going to write that down. And I know that not everybody checks the brand list. Some people will just send them in. Um, so I might do that. And when I pull these, my intention is to just mark them as not for sale. So I'm not going to cancel the listing, um, but I will mark it as not for sale. Oh, this was the brand I was looking for, Ungaro, Emmanuel Ungaro. I have a few of his pieces. And a lot of them are vintage, and I believe one is even dead stock. Um, I don't think they take Eileen Fisher. Uh, Giorgio Armani Blazer, this was what I picked up in my challenge with Posh Boss Blake. See, here's another one. This is the new vintage Emmanuel Ungaro Blazer. I did not pay a lot for that. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through here and see vintage St. John cardigan. This one's damaged. The threading right here isn't great. So I don't think they would accept that. This vintage Christian Dior, this is such a cool piece. I will definitely send that. I don't even have to write that down. I know they accept that. This Etro is another brand. So I have a lot of designer stuff in my closet. This Giorgio um, Armani silk blazer is gorgeous. I don't know if they accept Armani. That's one I might just send because it's that nice. I think, you know, they might take it. Um, Etc. I don't know if they take this. I'm going to write that down. And see, then if you do look a little lower, this Vince did sell for 50. This Tory Burch sold for 70. Like I do make a decent profit on some of these. This is a vintage Dries Van Noten uh, wool blend. I paid a dollar for that. It sold for $75. Sometimes it's worth holding on to these. This vintage Christian Dior sold for 99. It took a while, but I need to decide, is it worth holding on to and waiting for the payout? Or do I just want to get them out of my closet and get the money back. This is another brand I'm pretty sure they take. Um, and I find this brand a fair amount when I'm closer to Boston. My son Rocco is, is selling his Pokemon cards. He opened up his own eBay account. I'm so proud of him. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to this designer list right here. My face keeps popping in and out and I'm gonna try to get this in the five minutes before they bought me off. So let's look, if, let's, let's look at the tees and let's see if they accept theory. Uh, they do not. They do not accept theory. Okay. I've sent this brand into them, the Thay Skins Theory, uh, and that I think did okay. Um, what else do I have here? That's a T. Ted Baker. Let's see if they accept Ted Baker. I'm not seeing it here unless it's under B. Uh, I guess we could search from the top too. Let's see. Uh, let's see if they take Ted Baker. So they, so they are selling Ted Baker, but just because they're selling it doesn't mean they accept it. So let me see if it's under B. Uh, no. See, it looks like they're not currently accepting Ted Baker, but maybe that's something I send in. I don't know. Let's look up, um, oh shoot, that Ungaro. What was the first name? 
damn it, I forget, I forget Emmanuel, Emmanuel, it was right here. Uh, see, I'm not seeing it. And etc. Do they take that? Each row they take, so that I can send in. Okay, so basically that's what you do. You go through the list, you see what they accept. Then I will have a box of like what I'm willing to send them, and this gives you an idea of what they're selling each row for. So should be interesting. I'm gonna grab some stuff and we'll go from there because I know my timer is gonna run out in a second. So this is a rack that has a bunch of listed items um, and it's pretty packed as you can see, but I'm just trying to find, I know, where is it? This is that, etc. I don't think they take that. They don't take Eileen. Um, this is that Emmanuel. I'm going to grab that, see if they'll accept that. Um, bum, bum, bum. And I think, I think I may have pulled a couple other things upstairs. Oh, this is, this right here is a Burberry trench coat. It's sleeveless. It's like a trench coat dress. This was given to me. Sorry, it's on an angle because the way I'm holding my camera. That uh, Burberry jacket was given to me by a friend years ago and it's tight on me. Oh, it's one of those dresses though that if it ever fit me, I would love, love to wear it. So I think that's why I have it listed high. I don't think I'm going to send that in because I would be really sad taking like a $80 payout on that Burberry dress because I just love it too much. And I have so many other things that I can send them before I have to tap into like my good luxury stuff. So I am going to look at jeans. It is my understanding that they take brand, brands like Frame. I think they take Current Elliott. Now, I don't think they're a huge payout, but again, it's going to, for me, I'm going to look at how long it's been in my closet. I just ran a sale where I offered 50% off items that have been in my closet for over a year, and I had 545 items that were in my closet for over a year. And I have some approach, approaching a thousand. I'm kind of excited to have something in my closet for a thousand days. I think that's a milestone worth noting. So you can say hi to John Cusack, my all time favorite movie, say anything. Um, all right, so I'm gonna keep pulling. I'll show you my stack in a little bit and we'll go from there. I wanna take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and my personal favorite, digital design using Procreate. One of the things I love is how you can filter through their classes. So I knew I wanted to take a class on Procreate, but I definitely needed a beginner level. When I just put in Procreate, over 1,200 classes popped up. So I clicked beginner and I wanted a quick class. So I just did 15 minutes. That brought that down to just over 50. And I was able to find a class by Dave Garrow where you could create a custom logo using your own handwriting, which is just what I want to do. I want to learn how to doodle a little bit more through my videos. So make sure you stay tuned till the end so you can see my little finished product with my signature signature. I love that I can toggle around. You can take chapters in the order that you want to take them. It's just so user friendly. There are no ads and it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Be sure to check it out in the link below. Coming up, you're going to see me in action. So what I do is I just set up my iPad because that is where I have Procreate downloaded. And I'm just basically going side by side, whatever he's doing. I'm choosing the brush stroke that I want to use. Um, and on a previous video, I had learned how to animate. So once I got my signature, which I was very frustrated because I couldn't find my pen at first, but I do for the second part. Once I do my signature, I then um, can add layers, which is so cool on Procreate, which I learned all about through my Skillshare classes. So you add layers and then you can export it. So once it gets exported, you can see how it dances a little bit when you've done layers and animation. The possibilities are endless. Remember to click the link in my description on your way out today to redeem your free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. You will be so happy you did. I'm not sure if you saw my video the other day um, where I picked up these vintage monkey um, buckles, but I, I took it off the belt. This is like a belt buckle, but they're vintage and they're from 1972. It's right there and there's the designer. I'm gonna look up this designer. I wonder if these would sell there. So funky, I think they're so unique. My other option is to explore 
uh, having a conversation with a concierge. I've also applied for a business account with them. And I believe you have to have an LLC to, you have to have a business license to have a business account for them, but I'm not like a wholesaler or anything. So I don't know if I would be accepted into their program. And I've exchanged emails with them a couple times. They gave me the name of a representative here in Boston. I reached out, I didn't hear from her, but then somebody else from The Real Real finally contacted me. And now I, balls in my court, I need to reach out to them, let them know. I might just do my first order and not try to get the business account on this first one. Maybe establish a little bit more credibility with the company before I go for the business account. I, I think I just have to do this. I have to do this. I've been talking about it for way too long. I put the boxes on this table just so I could go through things a little bit easier and not have like a cluttered space. You guys, look at this. This is a piece I bought at TJ Maxx such a long time ago. It's a Zimmerman dress. Look at the TJ Maxx price was $3.99 and it was marked down to $59. And then when I got home, it had this tag. They never removed the tag for me. So this has been sitting in my death pile for probably, I mean, this was, I think before quarantine. I'm gonna see if the magnet will take this off or I'll take it back and have them remove it. But this is ridiculous. So this would definitely go. Can you believe I have had a Zimmerman dress just sitting, doing nothing? So I'm gonna go through these boxes. I think some of these I've already shared with you. So I don't wanna bore you. This is the Hermes vest that I got a really long time ago. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure this is authentic. Somebody had it listed on Poshmark for $650, new with tag. Um, and there are little things that kind of help me know. See what says Hermes and then, I mean, it's been shrunk. So I don't know, like this piece shouldn't be hanging below that vest. It was in the kids section. Um, like close to Boston. I wanna get rid of all of these Denali's. I've like had it, like all these North Face, they're just sitting around. I typically only pick those up at the bin, so whatever I get for those, fine. These Stuart Weitzman shoes have been around for a while. I paid $3 for these at a yard sale. These were given to me by a friend, like why am I holding on to these? So I'm gonna go through and I am gonna do my best to pack these things up nicely. And then I am going to do a manifest for myself, which is just a list of what's included in each box. I don't think that the real real has the same issues as thread up um, as far as like I, thread up has never lost any of my stuff, but I've heard frequently from people that they have lost people's items. So I do think it's important to include a list of what you're sending just to protect yourself and um but i but i don't think there's as much of a risk with the real real i think their customer service is really good so i'm going to start boxing these things up a few more brands this is a christian dior uh kind of like a velvety almost like corduroy type of not corduroy but it's a two-piece very very dated but we'll see if they like that um henry henry bendel i don't know if that's on the list 100% still made in Hong Kong. I'm taking more risks with anything that is vintage just because I feel like it's kind of in vogue right now. This Max Mara is pretty good. This is the Christian Dior linen blazer that I'm really excited about. I hope they like this. Um, some more brands that I'm sending in. You saw a lot of these in my closet. This is that Armani blazer. Do you also know that I received a $100 offer on this about a year ago, which I countered? Um, yeah, regrets. Isn't this stunning? Look at the back. It's got this bow. I'm sending that. That is too cool. This I think is a Vera Wang, um, if I'm not mistaken. I paid maybe 15 for this though. Hold on. And it looks like there's a little bit of, um, I need to address that. That's got to come out, but it's a real, oh no, no, no. You know what this is? I think it's Jessica McClintock. Hold on. Yes, this is vintage Jessica McClintock. I don't remember this. I think, I think maybe my assistant tried that on a while ago and that's how that got there. So we're still going through. This is the Etro Blazer. Just if you want to see the label. I'm not sure they're going to take those Stuart Weitzman shoes, but this whole bin is basically blazers. And I think I went through this with you once before. Um, so packaging that up right now. 
So what I decided to do after all was instead of writing down a manifest as I packed my box, I just took pictures of each item as it went in. Because when you come over here to, I mean, you can do it either way. I was just in the moment of packing. So you come over to here to the Real Real and it says, welcome back, Lori. You can click this up here, sell with us, ready to sell again. So when you click print a free shipping label, you can also do drop off or pick up at home. So you can't just print your label. It asks you, as far as I know, um, I'm just kind of walking through this with you. It says make a consignment list. And I think the reason they have you do this is because they wanna make sure that you are including brands that they accept. Um, I think I'm going to throw a couple things in there that aren't on the list just to test the waters. And what happens is if they don't accept it, they will send it back to you. So here's the view the list of accepted designers. I've, I've gone through that a little bit with you. We're gonna go through and I'm just going to add pieces that I am including. Now, S Map Max Mara, I know I have a blazer in there. So I'm just going to add this. Sorry, we don't accept this item. Review our designer directory. Wait a second, I'm gonna press add item. Huh, let me say jacket. Interesting. They wouldn't accept it as a blazer, but it will accept it as a jacket. That's really interesting. This is, well, you can't really see, but I started just taking pictures as I threw things in the box. So I'm just gonna go through this. Women's Fashion and Christian Dior. And we are going to say blazer, blazer. Okay, they keep saying we don't accept it. Jacket it is, jackets, add item. Next thing, next picture I have is, oh, that's the Emmanuel Ungaro. They don't accept that. There's the S Max. Okay, Giorgio Armani, they don't accept. Ralph Lauren, let's see. Already, sorry, we don't accept this category. Oh, time out. Oops, women's fashion designer, Ralph Lauren. We don't accept this designer. This is really interesting. They really don't want you to send in designers that aren't on their list. And I have so far three items in my box that are from there. Okay, let's go to Etro because they do accept that. Jacket, add item. It's not looking good. Okay, so this is still women's fashion. The brand is Hermes. Come on now. You definitely accept that timeout. What's up with that? Was I spelling that wrong? There's a good chance. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't accept that. Okay, let's go back here. Maybe they're only taking it. No, there's just no way. I'm sure there's a faster way to do this. Is it because of the accent that it's not accepting it? Okay, that's really weird. Just because I didn't have the accent over the E, they weren't accepting it. Interesting. Okay, uh, I'm going to say vest. I'm not going to say vest. I'm going to say jacket. Add item. So I'm just going to go through the list here. So you can see right here, consignment four items. So those are four they're accepting. Um, I know I had another women's fashion. I did another Christian Dior um, suit, suit, suits and sets, add item. I know this was in there. So I will just continue to do this and make my list. So the next up is Piazza Siempion. Sempione. Sorry, my painters are next to the house. Okay, jacket, add item. And I will keep doing this until I have completed the list. And then I plan on being a little bit of a rebel and maybe including a couple extra pieces. I have this tie by Hardy, A-M-I-E-S. So we're going to just, just to see a different category, men's fashion, H-A-R, D, here we go. And it is a tie. Sorry, we don't accept that item type. What the heck? Oh, maybe it goes under accessories. Let's just do that. 
When I printed out my label, it also prints out this packing slip with the items that you will be sending. And it also gives instructions on the next page um, where to drop things off um, once you print your label. So as you can see, there is a process to getting your stuff over to the real real. I am going to continue doing my box. I do have a few pieces that I didn't show um, that I picked up at a recent estate sale that I can link above, but I did find this Balenciaga wool skirt. I'm going to send this. I have an Acris suit that I'm also going to send, and I might include some more casual pieces, like I have some Patagonia stuff and maybe that um, North Face stuff that I showed earlier, just to get a feel for how they deal with more like mid-level brands and not just luxury. I'm curious to see how they will do. I will keep you posted. I will let you know what they accept, what is sent back to me. I am going to include a few things that are not on the brand list and just make sure that I keep a separate list for myself to make sure that I know what gets sent there. Um, but that's it. That is the process. Let me know if you do things differently. I'm really curious to know if you send in items that are not on the list. I know a lot of people seem to do that. So I am going to test the waters with that. I'm curious if you prefer thread up to the real real. And um, I really appreciate you watching. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will give you an update as soon as I um, have one for you. So thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to like this video on your way out and I will be back real soon with a new video. Thank you so much guys. Love you. Bye.